Hi, Kenny and Caitlin here from Embroidery Library. We're in the living room to show you a fast and easy way to turn any ordinary throw pillow into something extra special. We found these pillows at Target and they're made from a soft faux suede. These pillows are 18 by 18, but you can use any size pillow with this tutorial. Starting with a throw pillow like this is great because you have most of what you need to get your project started. That's right. Add embroidery, print fabric, pretty trim for eye-catching results. I'll show you how it's done. I'll start by using a seam ripper to open the seams along the top, bottom, and one side of the pillow. Leave the other side intact. Remove the filling and set it aside. Lay the fabric flat with the right side facing up. Now I'll plan where to embroider the design. I'm using a paper template that I printed using embroidery software. Place the template on the front of the pillow and center it top to bottom. I'm leaving about 10 inches in between the right edge of the design and the right edge of the fabric. Mark the center point and the horizontal and vertical axis lines. Hoop the fabric with one piece of cutaway stabilizer. Line up the marks in the fabric with the marks on the hoop. I also sprayed the stabilizer with a bit of temporary adhesive. This helps to prevent the fabric from sliding around while embroidering. Move the hoop so the needle is right over the center point. Embroider the design. I'm using a size 11 or 7511 sharp sewing needle. After embroidering, trim the excess stabilizer away from the back. To add the fabric, first measure the height of the front of the pillow. I want the fabric to be six inches wide, so I'm adding one inch to allow for a folded edge and seam allowance. I cut a piece of print cotton fabric to 19 inches high by seven inches wide. Fold the inner edge of the fabric over one half inch and press with an iron. Place the fabric on top of the front of the pillow, right sides facing up, with the right edge of the fabric aligned with the right edge of the pillow, with the folded edge facing in. Pin in place. Next, cut a piece of trim a bit longer than the pillow. Tuck the trim under the folded edge of the fabric and pin in place. Top stitch a 1 8 inch seam along the folded edge of the fabric. Then, tack the top, side, and bottom edges of the fabric in place by continuing with a 1 quarter inch seam. Align the front and back of the pillow together, right sides together, and pin. Sew a 1 half inch seam along the raw edges, leaving about 5 inches open along the side. Turn the fabric right side out and add the filling back inside. Use a needle and thread to hand sew the opening closed. And now you have a gorgeous, unique pillow full of color, texture, and fun. When pairing embroidery designs, interesting fabric, and trim, the possibilities are endless. By simply adding a large button in the center of this pillow, it gives it a fun tufted effect. Add two border designs, and this pillow is a fine addition to any home decor. a soft glow and elegant touch by adding embroidery to candles. Stitch the design onto organza and water-soluble stabilizer. Soak it in water, allow it to dry, then adhere it to the candle. This method works with unscented wax candles and battery-operated candles. Don't get too lost in your favorite book with these free-staining lace bookmarks. We have a variety of themes available from holiday to hearts to roses. Also, you can tuck them inside a greeting card for a thoughtful gift. Thanks for joining us today. See you next time when we'll be sprucing up the sewing room with more embroidery and exciting projects. For machine embroidery designs, videos, and step-by-step -step instructions for all the projects you've seen here today, visit our website, www.emblibrary.com.